Hey Freebs Nation, Jordan Page from FunCheaperFree.com here, and today we're gonna show you our new van. Oh yeah! The moment you have all been waiting for has arrived. It is time to introduce you to our new van. Our old van, the Silver Bullet, moment of silence, has been uh, quite a wild ride. When we found out we were having twins, we realized that not only is it unsafe, but it's illegal to double buckle, and it is time to get a car that actually fits all of us. So after months and months of research and looking, we got this bad boy, and you guys have had so many questions about it since showing it on Instagram. So I thought that for this week's video, we would just explain all about the van, and answer all your questions in one shot. So let's do it. Okay, let's start off by telling you the backstory of the van. After doing a ton of research, looking at all the big vans out there for a number of reasons, we decided to go with this guy. It's a Ford Transit 350 XLT. It's a 15 passenger mid-roof. It's a standard length, not the extended version. What we were most excited about is we added the Quigley 4x4 on it for a number of reasons, but mostly because here in Utah, it gets pretty gnarly in the winter and also with our cat Cabin, which you can check out the cabin tour link below. We definitely need four by four. That was the biggest issue with our last van. And I can already tell a huge difference with this van having it, that it drives so much better, so much smoother, and it towed this huge trailer like a boss. This van is a year old, but we got lucky and got it with only 7,500 miles on it. So it feels pretty new to us. It used to be brand spanking shiny, and then we took it to the cabin, and now it's super dusty and kind of dirty, but that's okay. That's what the van is for. Let me show you inside. Hey, Captain, where are we headed? Ah. A car, where are we headed? Like I said, this is a 15 passenger. Here's how we have it configured. A row of three, a row of two, and a single seat. Row of two and a single seat. And then it's supposed to have a row of four in the back. But if you have the row of four in the back, then it doesn't really give you a whole lot of space between the back door and the back seat for groceries or whatever else. So since we don't need the seats right now, we decided to remove these two middle seats. So now we have two captain seats in the back and plenty of space for, what are you doing? Let's go groceries, suitcases, or whatever else. In our family, we have eight kids, as many of you know, and our kids are pretty young, so that means a lot of car seats. Our kids are 10 and under. So here's how we have our family arranged. The twins up here in their car seats and we put Hutch, our oldest, in the middle. And then we paired up all the little kids with a big kid. So next we got little McEwen right here, who's our driver today. <laughs> and he is paired up with Priya, who's our second oldest. And they sit here. And then in the back, we have the two little girls that are 17 months apart. So they kind of help each other out. But across from them, we have Beck, who can hand them things or assist them whenever needed. So it's actually worked out really well. A few of my favorite features in the van. You hear that? You hear that? What? What? That is the sound of no carpet. Never again will we ever have carpet in any of our vehicles because with this many kids, that's a whole lot of sippy cups and fruit snacks and gum and nasty things that get smashed in the carpet. So we opted for this all weather, whatever material this is, wall to wall. There's not a lick of carpet in the entire van. As you can see from the cabin, it got dusty and dirty and muddy and there's crackers. So Bubba just comes with the leaf blower, opens the side door, opens the back door, cleans it out and we can even hose this down if needed, which for our family is so necessary, especially when we go camping or go to the cabin. Another feature that I love that we recently discovered, these seats have a little garbage bag holder, which is kind of cool. We can hang a little garbage bag from this, or maybe even a little iPad holder, or thank you so much, can I have it? Thank you. One of my favorite parts about this van are the giant windows. Look at this, it's like an airplane, but better, because you can actually see out. Look at that. None of them open, and none of them have shades. But look at this. Look at the size of this windshield. They're tinted. I mean, it's unreal. It makes drives so much more pleasant because it's just stunning. 
like 360 degree views in this van. The most important part, of course, is my stash of treats up here. We've got some coconut cookies, cashews, wet wipes. Bubba's got some brownie bits up there. Super healthy, so super healthy. And of course, disinfecting wipes. And nice big cup holders that fit my nice big cold cups. So I like all the features inside, but honestly, the thing that Bubba was pickiest about were the guts. Come on, inside. we got a meaty vehicle. Okay, so tell them why you chose this van and what okay, you did so to it. I did a ton of research. I wanted to make sure we had 4x4. Well, Ford uh, didn't come with 4x4. And so the top rated, only official Ford conversion company. Dun, 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 dun. 4x4.com. These guys have been phenomenal to work with and they completely take off the original system and install the Quigley 4x4. Now this is a heavy duty 4x4. We also had them add Bilstein shocks from Germany. As we're driving down the road to get to the cabin, it is super bumpy and rocky. And so having this kind of upper level shocks will really help us have a smoother ride. And thank you to Quigley 4x4 for gifting us that awesome system. We bought the van ourselves and that was so generous of them to take it to the next level by gifting us that system. Heck so yeah. thank you Now we can do our so cabin much. trips with ease. Oh yeah. We decided to put on knobby tires and just some updated wheels. I didn't like the look of the original ones. And the knobby tires will definitely help. These are winter rated. And we just got these from Les Schwab. We had them add this front bumper. Give it a knock, Bubba, give it a knock. This thing is steel, solid. And the cool thing about this front bumper is not only does it have these LED lights for like extra brights, but I love a front hitch. We can put either bike rack up front or we can put one of those grates up front. This is a great way to have additional cargo. We are going to have no problem problem getting anywhere, anytime, and have the peace of mind that our whole 15 passengers will be totally safe. Nice work, Bubba. Um, how big is the engine? I'm sure people are gonna ask. Has a 3.5 liter EcoBoost. It's a V6 engine, but it has some of the best gas mileage of any of these big size vans. So, but wait, there's more. It does come with 16 inch tires. We ended up opting for the 18 inch tires. Let me give you a view from the back here. So it's got these two huge doors in the back, which are nice and easy to open. Here's a view from the back. We chose the mid roof rather than the high roof or the low roof because the low was just too low. Mid is nice because we can stand up in it, but it still fits in our tall garage. The high was just way too high. A lot of drive throughs are nine feet capacity and we can fit just fine under those. And I really didn't want to not be able to go in the standard drive throughs or anything like that. The one thing that's really challenging here in Utah anyway is that there are no automatic car washes that are tall enough to fit this. So we're stuck washing it by hand, which is such a first world problem. Blech. If anyone knows of any like extra tall nine foot automatic car washes, will you call me? It has this door locking. So right now it's only open that 90 degrees, but if you unlock it, check this out. It opens all the way and then it actually has a little magnet to stay. This is not just an adventure vehicle. Like it obviously would work great for adventuring and going to remote places and camping or whatever. But for us being such a big family, this is just our everyday car. Carpool, drive to school, drive to the dry cleaner, whatever it is. And what I love about this, especially compared to our last van, is that it drives like a minivan. It honestly feels so smooth. Like it has a lot of power and get up and go, even though it's a massive, massive, van. What do you think of the new van, Hutch? Oh, I love it. What do you like about it? I love that there's no carpet and um, the seats, they're so comfy and it's way smoother than the last one. So right now we do not have a TV in the van and that is actually one thing that we do wanna add. We'll have to do that after market. So we're gonna find somebody here in Utah to do that. For now, it works okay to just use iPads or whatever, but on a long road trip, that's not ideal because if the iPads die, then we've got some grumpy kids and then, I mean, that would be a lot of iPads for the amount of kids we have in our family. So at some point, we will add a little TV here so that everybody can see it. Okay, that's it. That's our new van. Hope we love it. I don't know. I don't know if that was interesting, but we've had so many questions about it. So hopefully that answers our questions. If we missed anything, let us know in the comments below. And uh, also let us know what video you want us to film next in the comments. And uh, we gotta go wash this bad boy. He got pretty dirty from the cabin. Heck yeah, our first trip was a success. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Peace. Bye. Hey, where are you taking us? You gonna take us on a ride? No, no, no. Do you want those on? Say later, dude.
Hong Kong.